because my pieces are already pre-cut in the kit, I'm going to go ahead and use these pieces. The only thing that's not included are the actual journal pages on the inside. So these are the pieces that will go to attach to the covers, the front and the back. So I'm going to apply some glue and mat these on. here and then I do the same thing on the back And then these are the pre-scored inserts that will fit in like that. So there's two of them. I'm going to put one on each side. Now you can have one going up if you like, or if you prefer, you can also have it opening down below. I'm going to put them so they both open up. Now if it's easier for you, you can go ahead and stitch your signature pages before adding these inserts. Maybe I should have done that, but I'm going to go ahead and do things the hard way anyways. So I'm just going to center that inside the front cover. let it dry and I do the same thing on the right side. So here's the one on the right and I decided to have this one pull down instead. I scored at three inches and then again it's six inches and then you just fold it accordion style. You can use two-sided paper if you want to put photos on both sides. In my kits, I think most of them are just single-sided because that way you can journal on the back, but you can also put photos in there. And let this dry. And next, I'm going to make the pages for my, my journal. I've got the little covers included in here. Now the only thing I don't have included in this kit are the papers that you would put inside and you can use whatever variety of papers that you want and I cut those to measure eight and a half by three inches. So you can use your printer paper if you like. So it's eight and a half inches wide by three inches high and you just fold it into like that. I made two stacks of papers and they're going to go inside of these signature covers like that. And then I'm just going to stitch these inside the journal. Now you can stitch these using just two holes and tying in the middle. I like using three holes because it makes it that much more secure. 
So I'm going to punch the holes in my pages and my signature covers and I'm going to start stacking these, make sure they're nice and even. And I'm going to use a sharp tool and I'm going to punch a hole in the middle and then at the top and at the bottom. like that. And then I'm going to take my other stack and do the same thing. And what I can do is take a sheet from this stack and use it as a template. So I just punch through the holes. I'm going to punch the holes in the album, in the cover, and I can do the same thing again. I'm going to use this. I'm just going to fold it like that and I can see where the holes go. So I've got two rows of holes that I'm going to punch here, 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 and then I just move over. And I make these about a quarter of an inch apart, quarter to half an inch apart. And now I can begin stitching in my pages. The, the cording that's included in the kit is somewhat thick, so you'll need a, a needle with a, a wide eye. If you don't have one, you can use whatever string you want or thread to stitch your pages in. And I'll show you how I do my stitching. I start with the middle hole. I punch through here and then I attach that to the center hole in the cover. Pull it through. And then I come down through the bottom and then through the pages. Yeah, it would have been easier if I had stitched my pages in before putting those flaps in. And then I pull. And then I go back in through the middle hole and then through the top and then I just thread the end through here underneath the first stitching make sure everything is nice and tight and I tie a knot now you can also start from the outside working in and have your knot tie on the outside if you like So there's the first signature. And then I'm going to attach the second one the same way. So these are both of my signatures attached inside the little journal. Next, I'm going to cover my spine. You don't have to. If you want the thread to be visible, you can leave it, but I like finishing it off with a little piece of scrapbook paper. So I'm going to use the piece that's included in my package.
and just center that on the spine. And I can let that dry. Next, I can attach the ribbon around the covers. And you can just either attach it just loose like that, or you can put a little bit of glue in the center of your ribbon and attach it to the back cover if you don't want it to come off completely. I'm just going to leave it loose like that. And also I like having it over just to the to the right edge. Like that. And I can put this inside my folder. And it's ready to give as a gift. So I hope you liked working with this tutorial. If you're interested in the kits, I'll include a link to my Etsy shop where I have these listed. Have a nice day and happy scrapping. Bye.